wanted to take a second and talk about ground loops and video surveillance systems. This won't be a definitive guide. I just wanted to bring up a couple of points. As you can see, this monitor right here is displaying what we would typically see with a ground loop issue in a video surveillance system. And that is that you have horizontal bars scrolling on the screen. The issue comes in when you have two separate devices that are electrically connected to ground and those grounds have different potentials. Those different potentials induce voltage in the signal. Now, anyone who is a guitar player or a musician, a keyboard player or vocalist has actually come across this most likely at some point in time. With the exception of being able to visually see it, you audibly notice it. And that is what we would call a 60 cycle hum. Well, this is the exact same thing with the exception of we are visually seeing it on our surveillance system. In that example, you'll typically use a DI box and use the ground lift on it, and that will reduce the hum. That's a method that can be used in video surveillance, and it's more common that we use an isolation transformer, which is real similar to that, and that it's going to take away the ground. A better way to put it would be that it's isolating the ground from the camera to the DVR. Inside isolation transformer, there's two coils and it's a one-to-one -one transformer. So it has the same number of turns on both coils. And what it does is it just transmits the signal from one coil to the other, therefore isolating the ground and reducing the interference between the two different ground potentials. Inherently in the transformer, you're going to have some losses due to eddy currents. Typically, it's not an issue, but on a longer run on a lower resolution camera, you could uh, have it deteriorate so much that it actually loses the sync signal. So just be cautious of that on longer wire runs. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about uh, ground loops. Um, as these uh, popularity of turret cameras and dome cameras and bullet cameras where the housing um, is not isolated from the camera itself, you may see more issues like this. So if you happen to come across this issue and you need some help with it, don't hesitate to call Safeguard Controls LLC. It's 214-931-2626. Dallas, Texas, y'all.